Um, so, you know, first and foremost, yesterday, right, we we talked about this uh, deluge of visual data that the community has is, is struggling with. And uh, one of the things that we're all really excited about are uh, improvements and, um, you know, advances in the computer vision communities, particularly in terrestrial applications. Uh, and so one of the things that we've learned over time is that there's all sorts of different algorithms that you can use to do this kind of analysis. Uh, but the big challenge to apply these kinds of algorithms, it comes down to the types of labeled data or data that, you know, the algorithm can learn from um, as it's, it's being trained or evaluated. Uh, and so this is a big reason, right, for why we've um, done or built Fathomnet. And yesterday, Brian uh, did a fantastic uh, overview of the uh, website at fathomnet.org. Uh, and explained the database schema uh, to the group. Uh, we also had a, a nice rundown of one of the annotation tools, uh, Tater, um, and the ways in which they are already integrating uh, Fathomnet and actually exporting data directly to Fathomnet. Um, and so there's a number of annotation tools out there. Uh, we were really highlighting the fact that there are ways to build out these tools to uh, interact with Fathomnet data. Uh, uh, Eric and uh, Kevin also did a great job of introducing uh, GitHub, uh, where you can find a lot of different information and resources uh, for the community. Uh, that includes um, the, uh, the, the Python API for Fathomnet, so that's at Fathomnet Pi. Uh, we also uh, walked through the Fathomnet Model Zoo, the idea that if you're using uh, label data in the database, that you can train algorithms and then share them broadly with the research community. Um, and we highlighted ways in which you could do that uh, through Zenodo and then linking this here with our um, model zoo. Um, and then we've also uh, shared information on how you as a community member can provide feedback to us and, and let us know what are some things you'd like to see improved upon or features you'd like to see incorporated. Um, and so this is also uh, connected to us uh, via GitHub. Uh, and then I walked us through the FathomNet use policy, uh, just, you know, imagine or consider, right, there's a lot of people submitting very valuable data and making sure that we're using that data in appropriate fashion. Uh, we also went over how there's different licenses for the annotations that are contained within the data set, uh, and, as well as the imagery. Uh, but the imagery, right, is being made available um, for specifically for uses related to training and developing machine learning algorithms. So regardless of who you are, what sector you represent, you know, there is that exception that we can be using those, um, the imagery for, for the, that purpose. Uh, but then again, you know, since these images are available, you can look at them. You can also track down who owns that imagery. Uh, you can also contact the original copyright holder to, you know, potentially use it for another um, uh, application. Oops, I forgot that I went to this. Uh, and then, of course, there's a disclaimer that, you know, things, images and annotations are provided uh, as is, and uh, any express or implied warranties um, are, are disclaimed. Uh, we also shared with you all some of the ways or mechanisms you can get more information uh, about Fathomnet and the, the ecosystem at large. Uh, so one thing is that we have a blog that uh, you can find it at medium.com slash fathomnet. Uh, and in this blog, there's a number of helpful, um, you know, articles that we've put together uh, to describe how you might, you know, be able to engage with, with the ecosystem. Uh, the other thing that we've uh, spent a lot of time doing is uh, creating content for the Fathomnet YouTube channel. And you can access this by going to YouTube slash Fathomnet. Uh, and here we've got uh, videos, uh, different playlists. And for instance, we have um, all of the recordings from last year's uh, um, workshop. And we will also upload all of the recordings from this year's workshop as well. So if there's anything that you missed, please check that out. 
Uh, and then we also have some helpful uh, demonstrations, uh, you know, videos that uh, teach people how to use different aspects of, of FathomNet. Um, and we've also, again, created a lot of different mechanisms for you to engage with us. So there's uh, a FathomNet account, you know, you can down or you can access it at Twitter. Uh, there's also a uh, bot called FathomNet bot that's worth just following because it's kind of fun to see what crazy things it's identified. Um, and then we also have a Slack space. Uh, so this is where our entire team lives a lot of the time. And so you can engage with us there. This is an opportunity or a place that you can also, you know, share new papers, either new data sets that you've come across, um, and, you know, and any other programs or uh, projects that, you know, we as a community should be aware of. Uh, and so, you know, please join us here. This is actually one of our preferred ways to, um, to uh, communicate with each other. Uh, and then another thing is if, if Discord is more your flavor of interaction, uh, we're really fortunate that, you know, we've been partnering with the Livestream Oceanographic Enthusiast Group. They uh, manage their own, own Discord server and uh, has they have also set aside a channel for us for FathomNet uh, as well as Tater. Uh, one of the fun things I occasionally do, and I know Ben also does as well, is, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll drop in and give updates on where we are with some of the other projects that we're um, involved in. In fact, uh, you all, uh, the, the Live Stream Motion Graphic Group played an important role in the early testing of some of our prototypes, uh, as well as, you know, coming up with really interesting and, and useful names for um, products that we've been working on. So I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, as well. And besides, right, all of those things, right, the goal here is to build community. And so I just wanted to, again, summarize all the different ways that you can connect with us. So we have an email, uh, fathomnet and ambari.org. All of those emails go to Kevin, uh, the fathomnet website. Uh, there's the GitHub, the blog, the YouTube, the Slack space, and the Discord. So there's a lot <laughs> to connect us, uh, but I will say that all of these links are in the agenda. So don't feel like you have to copy these things right away. Um, and so again, we just feel like it's really important to provide you know, different mechanisms for you to connect with us, uh, particularly in ways that you are comfortable uh, in connecting. And, and again, a reminder uh, that Right, FathomNet is in beta. Uh, that means we've not fully rolled out the, the service. And uh, really what we're trying to do during this beta phase is to get feedback from you all. Um, so our goals for the workshop is to share you know, the vision and the goals for FathomNet, um, build communities to get to know uh, the different users or use cases for FathomNet, and then also generate feedback for improved features that we are hoping to implement this year. And so I'll, I'll go into some of the details uh, on some of these features that we've already kind of coalesced around, but again, we would love um, more feedback uh, on any of these features that I'm talking about. And so today, uh, it's a, a very different schedule than what we did yesterday. Yesterday, I think we were just uh, throwing a lot of information at, at you all, and you were you know, trying to take it all in. Uh, today, what we're trying to do is, is be more collaborative, have more open discussions, and we're going to be doing that in a number of ways. So first and foremost, what we're trying to do is break out into separate groups. Uh, either if you identify as a marine scientist, uh, if you identify as a programmer, or if you identify as an enthusiast. And the first half of today, we're going to be in breakout sessions where we're hoping to focus around, you know, different ways that you as a user can interact with FathomNet. Um, and so those sessions are, you know, for, that's an hour long uh, session and discussion. And so uh, the, the presenters will have some content, but then also allow for time for discussion, because we would like to hear from you ways that you might be planning on using or engaging with FathomNet. And then the last half of today, oops, and I forgot to finish this slide, uh, that we will be um, uh, really, how, how can we make FathomNet work better for you? 
uh, we will have two groups uh, for the marine scientists uh, brainstorming session, one group for the programmer session, and then one group for the enthusiast session. So again, all the updated information is in your agenda if you're curious about who is going to be in what session. Uh, and so to help us prepare, oh, and finally, at the end of the day, this is totally optional. And I don't know how many of you have actually heard about this, but um, we are also going to continue on at the end of this, uh, you know, at the end of all of our breakouts and, and content that we're sharing, we're also going to, you know, gather at what you call gather town. It's just for informal conversations, meet and greet think, you know, old school games, but wandering around in rooms where you can talk to people. Um, if you've never been on Gather Town, I highly recommend it, but also it's a chance for you to, to chat with our team and, you know, let us know how we're doing or, you know, if, if things, if there are other things that come to mind outside of uh, the discussions that we're having in the groups today.